Hi there, this is Brooke, and I'm in my entryway because I've done something, and I'm going to show you. So we're going to go through kind of the process of what I did and the additions that I've made and the changes that I've made. We have honey oak, as you can see, in the whole house. And instead of painting all that, because I don't want to paint all that, because there's a lot of it, I just decided to do something else. So, and this is the first room that I started in. The second place I went was the kitchen, and you'll see that video too. So let's go on a journey of redoing and living with my honey oak. So here is our entryway slash mudroom. This door goes to the garage, front door of the house. Back there's our little laundry room. And then down the stairs is the basement. And then upstairs, of course. And it's just a little disorganized and full right now. So we're going to be making a few changes to it. And the main thing I want to change is we have this coat closet here and they just put in one of those standard closet made shelves or whatever and it's 12 inches and then the rack is right here behind the hangers here there's like a whole couple of inches so every time we want to shut this we have to slide the coats over just to get that to shut and then it see it never shuts nice i got a new shell and then a new rod just to set back a little bit so hopefully that'll be nicer over the course of the next while we are going to transform our little entryway and make it more efficient for where we are at now in our life everything is officially out of here and a lot of it's down there this place feels huge without any hooks or shelves or a light fixture and one was burnt out can't believe this is how it was when we moved in 12 years ago now just to decide where i would like to put everything Surprise! I am painting! I'm gonna show you why here. That my husband doesn't think it needs to be painted, but it's gross, and I'm gonna show you. And you see it all the scuff. I wanna move the hook, so look at what they left. And of course, our doorknobs always do that. It's just like all dirty, no matter how much I clean. But that's all you are going to get to see of the painting until the final reveal. So I have finished all the painting and I want to show you the paint even though I have to load everything in and get all organized but I wanted to show you the paint first in this big open empty space. So here is the white walls. I did up the stairs here but this part hasn't been done yet. So over here in this corner, you can kind of see the tan compared to the white. I've changed all the switches except for this one because I can't find that exact switch yet. Changed this all out by myself and only electrocuted myself a little bit on the first one. But it's so bright and clean, fresh in here. I even painted the closet and the ceiling of the closet. And I'm so excited to get our new Wow, that's white. Our new organization in here. This is what I always use, the DuraClean Dutch Boy eggshell. And my color is 03 white. I have a little bit of a mess to pick up. That's for the rest of the house. I need to clean up my brushes and stuff yet. I just finished yesterday late afternoon, so haven't got all that done yet. Next step is to change out the light fixture. I took down the shell of it, so I gotta take, shut off the electricity and take that down and put the new one up. The shelf is all up. The rod is lower. The shelf is nice and level. The rod is nice and level and it's secure in here. So now I'm going to load it back up with our coats and stuff and decide what kind of shoe caddies and where the vacuum is going to go down below. I got in a very special delivery today. That's my shoe bench that I ordered and I've been waiting for. I have one other piece of furniture I'm waiting for for the entryway and hopefully that's coming soon so I can finish that out. So today I'm going to open this up and get it together.
Now that you have seen some of the process and what I've done, I'm going to show you the final reel. So let's look at this super nice before clip. Now, here's the reveal. So the first change you saw was probably where we had that brown runner rug there and we put in this bench and then it has, has 24 shoe slots and some of my sandals and stuff I can get two pairs in but Nick can usually just get one pair of his shoes in. So we got rid of the runner, we got rid of that little shelf and I bought this bench. I got it off of walmart.com but I've seen it a few of them at other places and they had a couple different colors. They had a driftwood gray I almost got but we have the brown hooks and I didn't want to have to buy all new hooks like the espresso. So I just went with the espresso dark brown bench. This little basket's from Walmart. And this is kind of where I set my purse or things that I got to put in there or things that I need to take with me. So I just have that sitting on the bench right now. These are the same hooks we had. I just moved them up probably about a six inches to a foot just so they won't hit the bench. And when you sit on the bench, you, you know, you'll touch the coats, but it won't be like dragging on the bench at all. And then I have some new artwork. And these are just three canvas prints that I found at Target.com. I just thought they were like neutral but had those little pops of color that would look nice with the rest of the house and bring out, you know, a little color into the entryway. And then the next thing, I still have the boot tray there. We live in a place where it's muddy and sandy and gross in the winter, so we need those. But I did change out my little council table here. And so it has two drawers and then a sliding barn door. And I have my FabFitFun basket in there filled with bags, you know, like shopping bags and stuff. And then this one, I have baskets coming. I've had a hard time finding ones that'll fit nice in there where the door can still shut. But then they have enough room for like gloves and hats and stuff. So this is where Nick and I's like gloves and hats will go. The drawers just have odds and ends. I have some sunglasses and coupons in one and then random masks and earplugs in that one. That usually gets filled with things that we bring into the house. Eventually, maybe I'll put a little decor on there but as of right now that's how it's gonna be because usually in the summer there's like sunscreen and bug spray on there the shelf is the same I change out the greenery and the little guy for seasonally and for holidays we have a few more masks hanging here that's in the season of life we're in and I did change out where I had the picture frame and the wreath for this mirror mirrors from Hobby Lobby it's taking some getting used to I keep going where the other mirror was so it's just a nice I thought an oval shape would look good here because it's a smaller space and then it kind 
kind of like gave some different shape and flow to the room. Next change or another change is this. So before we just had one set of hooks kind of right level with the light switch and the boys hung their coats and bags and everything on there. But we don't have a good spot like for their hats and gloves and their baseball caps and stuff. So I wanted to kind of make a two tier system. So yes, that looks a little funny with those baskets hanging out. But I think with them just keeping their stuff more contained, I think it'll be nice. So we just raise the hook. So that one's the same height as the other ones over the bench. And then we just like put some boots on that boot tray to see kind of how high. Put that one and how low their coats would hang. And I do use the screw and anchors on all this so they're hooked to the wall really well so we can put little heavier things on them. And then that's just a home sign from Hobby Lobby that I just thought looked just simple and once again kind of a different shape so it gave some more flow to the room. And yes, it's not centered over the hook but it is centered on the wall. We have a light switch so it kind of offsets this whole little area. And then I love everything Thing about my entryway but my favorite thing about this entryway that we switched up is this closet and one would think why would you care about your closet well so before this shelf had a chunk right here and then that's where we would hang the coat so the coats would come and hang like right here which would hang on the side you know like almost out to here the coats would be because they'd be like two inches out and when you shut this door you know you got to be in there far so every time we would go to shut this door I would have to go like this with the coat and quick shut it and then this part would always pop back out at you. Well now I got a smaller shelf with the smaller edge on it. Same brand it just doesn't have that the hanger part and then this is a, just a closet I don't know what I don't remember what brand it's from Menards and we put these in with anchors that we needed on both sides there so this is super strong. We hung our coats on it and I did clean out our coats a little bit but not too much so it's basically what we had in there and and now when I shut the door, it just slides shut, stays nice, and it's just so nice. That bothered me for 12 years and I finally said, hubby, we're fixing this. And the last thing I want to show you guys is the new rug we got. We did have like an oval brown rug. This rug I had intended to go in the kitchen. And then we had it in the kitchen. It's maybe a little big for the space there because you have to have it clear over to the oven or it, you know, is not centered right under the sink and I would prefer it centered. My husband's like, this just doesn't fit. And I'm like, no, it just looks funny. And when you stand at the oven, it was kind of in an odd space. So I'd planned to put one down here anyways. I had ordered two rugs. We brought this one down here because I had washed this and used this and this is the striped one that I liked better. So I just sent the second one back. No big deal. They took it back fine. I like the stripe one the best. The other one was like a scatter stripe and it's fitting the space nice. It doesn't move so my husband isn't adjusting it all the time. And it's washable because this will get dirty. And so I'm just going to pull it up and you can wipe off the pad. You can vacuum this or just sweep it too. But if it gets super bad, you just throw it in the wash and dryer and put it back down. And I've already washed it once and it was super simple didn't like make the washer get all crazy or anything like that so I'm very happy with this so that's why I've been kind of adding in some of the gray colors cream the gray with the basket this definitely fits down here better my husband is upset we don't have a rug over there because it's not as easy to take off his shoes he'll just have to get used to it because I do like that bench that's all the changes we have made oh I did talk about the white walls but before when we were going through the process I'm loving the white walls when there was nothing in here. I was a little shocked. I was like, oh crap, did I make the wrong decision? <laughs> the more I added stuff back into this entryway, the more I'm loving it. And the kitchen, I'm just in love with my kitchen right now. Stay tuned for the kitchen reveal and I do a little fall decorating in there with you guys. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Almost forgot to share the light fixture with you. So I got these in a two pack off of walmart.com for $97. These were so affordable. They had single packs for $50 to $60 and I saw them at various different things on the internet. Find what I like and then I take the title of it and Google search it and try to find the best price. Super excited about these lights. We're going to put them downstairs and one in the laundry room and then in the hallway too. So I did get a fair amount of them and they're just like a simple cave and then they have three light and I bought Edison bulbs and I want to say those are 60 watt of the daylight off of Amazon and they're just an Asher brand but it just creates oh, just a little more light down here, a little more farmhouse industrial that we kind of like and it's 
brighter. I just love the like non-yellow toned of these lights. So we've been slowly working through the house to get that done. I hope you enjoyed my little entryway redo and how I'm going to spruce up my honey oak in this house and just give it a little new life with a simple paint color. A simple white paint color. Like literally we pick out of like the 20 different whites they had at Menards, we pick white. So easy, right? People ask you what color? It's white. They'd be like, okay. <laughs> like, only white? Yes. Only white. And I'm just excited and I want to get the rest of the house done, but we're just kind of waiting, make sure I have time and get the kids, you know, all situated with school and everything. Stay tuned for the other updates in the rest of the house. Let me know in the comments if you're enjoying these little makeovers that I'm doing and the refreshes. We have updated some lights in the house. I need to do a spend of the day with me and go through and show you all those other updates that we've done. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.